Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at natural selection. So in natural selection, you have a population. And then in this population, you might get a completely random mutation happening. And then the offspring, the babies that have this random mutation, it may be a good thing for them or it might be a bad thing for them. It might help them survive better. It might help them not survive better. Here I'm going to use a FET simulation to show how um, bunnies survive when they have different random mutations applied to them. So no bunnies were harmed in the filming of this video, it is just a computer simulation, don't worry. Um, we've got some white bunnies and then what happens to the bunnies when they get a mutation which means they have some brown fur or what happens to the mutation um, what happens to them when they get like long teeth so they can eat more food. So hopefully this simulation will explain everything nice and clearly for you. This is um, a fat simulation, it's a really, really good one. Um, you can go and play around with it yourself, it's absolutely fantastic. So here is my little bunny hopping around and he is quite lonely so I'm going to give him a lady friend. Now we have two bunnies hopping around and you know bunnies hopping around will do what bunnies do and make lots and lots of bunnies. Now if we just leave these bunnies to do what bunnies do they are going to take over the entire place so I'm going to add in a wolf. Now this wolf is going to eat some of the bunnies, which is unfortunate for the white bunnies, but if I add in a bunny with brown fur, um, this bunny is going to blend into the background over here. So the wolves are going to find it a little bit harder to see this bunny that has brown fur, so it's not going to get eaten quite as much. And eventually, all the bunnies with um, white fur are going to get eaten, but the bunnies, bunnies with brown fur aren't going to get eaten. So they're going to take over, and they're going to become the dominant species in the area. Whereas the bunnies with white, hair, um, white fur have kind of gone away. Now, if we change um, the fur over here so that white fur is now dominant and brown fur becomes recessive, we are going to see a massive, massive sudden insurgence of white bunnies. Now, we're still going to see a lot of um, brown bunnies because um, quite a lot of these bunnies are going to have um, two copies of the recessive gene. But um, we're going to see these white bunnies being taken over, even though those are the ones that are being eaten by the wolves. So let me um, reset this and have another go with something else. So if we add in quite a lot of food and then we give our bunny a friend. Now, bunnies are going to do what bunnies are going to do. I'm not going to add in the mutation for um, brown fur this time. I'm going to add in the mutation for long teeth. Now, this down here, we can see the long teeth is a dominant mutation. And this dominant mutation means the bunnies with long teeth, look, I think there's a little bunny, long tooth bunny over there, is going to be able to eat the, the extra food. So the bunnies with long teeth are at an advantage to the bunnies with short teeth because they have more food available. Which means over time, the bunnies with long teeth, as we can see on the graph here, are going to overtake the bunnies with short teeth because there is more food available to them. And now we just have loads of bunnies all over the place, so I'm going to be mean and add in some walls. Um, but there's still loads and loads of food for these bunnies, so they're just going to hop around and they're going to do their bunny little thing. Now I'm going to reset this and I'm going to change the setting so that we are in the Arctic. Now we have a white bunny on a white background. These white bunnies on white backgrounds are going to do what... Um, bunnies do and they're going to hop around now if i add in wolves they're going to eat the bunnies but it's going to be quite hard for these bunnies to be seen 
if I add in a mutation for brown fur, these brown fur bunnies now stand out quite a lot on the white background. So this dominant mutation that's been introduced isn't actually very good for the bunnies because it makes them easier for the um, wolves to catch. Now there's another mutation that I can add in here, the mutation for having a long tail. Now this long tail is going to keep the bunnies nice and warm. So the, um, the bunnies that are going to be best served in this are going to be the bunnies with the white fur, but the bunnies with the long tail. So you can see the wolves are coming along and picking off all of the poor little bunnies with the brown fur and the bunnies with the white fur are um, coming along quite nicely. Now if I just switch those over to the equator you can see that these white fur bunnies again now stand out like a sore thumb. So the wolves are going to come around and gobble them all up. So we should eventually start to see some bunnies with brown fur appearing. Come on bunnies. Well, we should start to see some bunnies with brown fur appearing. And these ones are now going to blend into the background. Um, these ones aren't going to be eaten up by the wolves. So this is a nice um, demonstration of natural selection. Um, it's quite um, good for you to play around with. It's, um, it's a nice one. It's good for you to see um, how changing small things can actually have quite big effects on a local population.